Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and in this video, we're going to be talking about fonts in CSS. So without any further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so, you know, every web page you open, there's going to be some type of text. And an important way in which text is displayed is its font. You know, certain fonts are used to achieve certain types of looks. Other fonts are used to achieve different types of looks. So I'm going to tell you about the five most common font families. And then I'm going to show you how to actually set the font of something in CSS. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the five different font families. Okay, so the first font that I'm going to show you is the serif font family. And serif, it's usually, you know, used to create a sense of formality and elegance. So an example of a serif would be Times New Roman. So here, this is a serif font. So that's serif. And then next we have sans serif and sans serif is it's you know to it's used to create a clean and minimalistic view. So a font that is very common in sans serif and it's probably one of the most common fonts is Arial. So this is a sans serif font. And you can already see the difference between um, the serif and the sans serif. You see, like compare the T's. This one, it's just a regular T, but this one it has like the little things on the edges right here. So yeah, the sans serif, I mean the serif is usually more fancy than the sans serif. Next is the monospace fonts. And these fonts are usually used to create a pretty like a blocky kind of feel kind of like robotic almost so an example of this is monaco so let me find that and so it seems like monaco is not available as a font on google docs like it's not supported on google docs and this is going to tie in very importantly to when we actually set the font in CSS. So just remember this and wait for a couple minutes to the end of the video to see what I'm talking about. So since Monaco isn't here, let's try something else. Let's try um, career on this. Okay. This is a monospace font. And you see, it, it seems like pretty blocky, pretty mechanic, like when you type out with it. So that is a common characteristic of monospace fonts. The next family is cursive. And cursive is kind of like used to imitate like human handwriting. So an example of that is, um, let's see. I'm gonna try to find a font. Let's go with um, something like this. Gloria, hallelujah. This one, um, this is a cursive font. And cursive fonts are usually used to, you know, imitate human handwriting. So this looks, you know, like a person wrote it. And next is fantasy fonts. And these fonts are really kind of like a wild card. They're like, I mean, it's just like really anything that doesn't fit into the other category. So, I don't know. Let's see. Most fantasy fonts are probably going to be something like Impact. This is a fantasy font. And these fonts, you know, they are used to kind of... Just, you know, be creative and playful type 
the fonts, you know, they don't really fit well into any of these other categories. So this is so this is fantasy fonts. And now let's head back to our um, HTML document. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you learned something about the five different font families and actually how to implement fonts in CSS. And this is going to be something very useful that you will continue using for, you know, as long as you make web pages because every web page has text. So thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Peace.